guys. Um, this is my five week DNC, uh, post DNC and cycle day seven um, update. Um, this will be the last DNC update um, because, well, post DNC update because I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment on Friday, but that was canceled because my doctor had broken her wrist. So she was not coming in on Friday. So I met with her yesterday. And it's the same doctor who, um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, told me that I had twins. And then uh, about two and a half months later, told me it was identical twins. Um, I started at the end of my pregnancy with my daughter when um, I was having early, I was in preterm labor. Uh, pre -term labor. Um, I then had her, I haven't had her since, and then I had her for my, she's the one that did the DNC, and so to have that like last appointment, my last DNC follow-up with her was kind of nice. <coughs> um, and I told my husband when we get pregnant again, actually when I call for my appointment, I am going to request her because I want her to be able to give me good news for once. <laughs> Um, cause even like when my numbers have like gotten really low, it's never been her that got, a, that was able to call me. <laughs> it's always been the nurse cause she's been busy. So she's never been able to be the, you know, she's always been the bearer of bad news, not, you know, coming in to celebrate with us. Um, so anyways, um. It was a good appointment. Um, we were able to talk about um, our plans with TTC, and I'm going to make a separate video on that because I really want to keep this kind of short for you guys. Um, so um, the reason that this is my last one uh, for a DNC post update because my number is finally negative, um, which is wonderful. We kind of knew that it was going to happen very soon because um, Thursday they were at 11. And actually talking with her, we found that actually at the, at the DNC, we had thought we were at 8,000. She said, no, you are at 10,000. So she said from 10,000, she, you know, she said 200, well, two, uh, 250, she said it was wonderful. And then she said, you know, they've always watched my numbers go down, and she figured that's why when I went yesterday, she's like, go do a blood test right now. She's like, I think with you having your period, she's like, I think you're finally negative. She's like, I think so. She's like, and if not... She's like, there's no, not too much more for it to go down. She's like, so they would actually, were going to send me tomorrow because she said there's just no way for, you know. And sure enough, it's 2.3. She's like, so the nurse said, she's like, there's nowhere for it to go. You're negative. Um, which means now if I have a blood test, if I, God forbid, I should have to go to the emergency room and they do a blood test, I don't have to. Um, I don't have to say, well, I had a DNC and blah, blah, blah. She said, you know, actually count um, the February 16th as cycle day one, um, which is what makes me cycle day seven. She said, which it can be off. Uh, she said, there's no guarantees that I will ovulate this month. She said, but she doesn't see why not. Um, and she highly, highly recommends that even after talking to her and telling her about doing the YouTube videos, and she says the only piece of advice that she would give to anyone, even though she said it's really frustrating um, after even a chemical pregnancy or anything, track that first cycle. She said it's going to be very tempting to be with She said it's going to be very, very tempting. She said, and, you know, depending on where you are, emotionally she said it might you know might be a good idea to wait and she said you know 
it's that, do you think you could handle another, you know, being disappointed? Hmm. Um, but yeah, she said, anybody out there that, you know, that watches this, God forbid you ever should have a miscarriage. Um, she said, actually use OPKs after your number hits zero, so you know if you ovulate, if you're on track. Because um, she said, unfortunately, she said, if my body doesn't straighten itself out in three cycles, they're then going to want something on birth control. Which, I guess, isn't a bad thing, but, but that's what it is. Um, and I also, when we were there, um, I explained to her how it just still all seems like a dream. Like, none of it feels real. Like, it just still feels like a, a dream. I don't feel like it ever really happened. Um, and so I, told, I asked her, um, because it was, you know, it was a baby to me. I don't, I don't care if there's never a heartbeat, there's a baby. So I asked for the picture of the ultrasound. And she said, sure. She, she's like, let me run and go do it right now. So I wanted to share that. Um, actually, sorry, the camera's going to move. So anybody that's got, you know, that is pregnant, sorry, you might get a little motion sickness, but let me show you. That there is the baby. So I'm going to go to my information again. So, lots of room. So... Um, so that's that, and that is my update, um, uh, and my birthday was on Saturday, so my husband and I had a great day together, um, I, yes, I, I am wearing a wedding band, I have been married for six years, but, uh, my job, I never wear my wedding ring because it's, at some point I will show you guys my wedding ring, um, but starting a new job with working with a whole bunch of guys. My husband really, really wanted me to have a wedding band. Um, so we got that on Saturday. So thank you for watching. And um, like I said, I will be posting probably another video probably right after this one. There's already one up now, but I'll be posting another one on letting you guys know what's going on. So talk to you guys later. Bye.